everybody, thanks for joining us on this spectacular 280 SL. And the reason I say that is because this is a two owner, local, local two owners that we know both the owners, right? How crazy is that? Sold locally here new, they live right around here still, and it is a beautifully, beautifully restored example of this car. These are the kind of cars, this is where you're gonna kick yourself if you don't do something now. These are the kind of cars that continue to go up in value and then you say, years later, oh man, I should have bought that car, I don't know what I was thinking. You know what, you're thinking about it right now and this is exactly why you need to do that. These are collectible now, they're future collectibles and I'll tell you why they really are future collectibles. One of the reasons why they're future collectibles is they have a lot of modern components in them that make the drivability of them so much better than an old 60s vintage car. And I think that that's what you'll find uh, really, really nice there. I just had a beautiful bare metal uh, repaint of the whole car in light beige, the factory color. It's got the tag under the hood showing how the car was built from the factory. We have a three inch binder of receipts from the beginning of time, just uh, all the service history and all of the love that's gone through this car. Really, its whole life story is wrapped up in, uh, in a nice documentary. Those are the kind of pieces that add to the value of any car. Anyway, I've rambled on about how spectacular this, this one is, but I want, the reason I tell you that is because it is different than other cars that are out there. So let's check the quality of the paint. And I think you'll see right here, you can read that very nice and clear, and it's beautiful. All right, so come on in here. So one of the reasons I bring up a modern exotic is because this has a lot of great features on it. First off, it has mechanical fuel injection, which is really nice, right? It has four-wheel disc brakes. It has four-wheel independent suspension, what they call swing axle, right? And it's a, it's a powerful car that sounds really great. It's got this great sounding dual exhaust on it. These are sprightly cars. I like to say this too, these were very expensive for their time, right? You don't see a lot of these because they were uh, on their way to Ferrari style money because these were a lot more hand built than the regular uh, Mercedes lineup. But they used a lot of the components from the regular cars that allowed them to uh, not only build a powerful car, like this would have been in a big sedan, not this small little car. And that's why they're so fast. But anyway, the detail under here I think is really nice. You wanted to go to a car show or something like that, you'd be proud to open the hood. People would gather around and go, wow, this car is from uh, 69 that has fuel injection. That's amazing, right? Not many cars had fuel injection back in that day, and uh, adding that onto it uh, makes for a very special drive. All right, a lot of times people say that's a great looking car, but they don't really know why it's a great looking car. Let's talk about a couple of those things. First off, when we talk about just this section here, this high uh, quarter panel, this wrap around tail light, this tonneau cover here that covers a convertible top, those are the little things that make for it nice. The bumper doesn't go all the way across, it's split. This car is designed to be the style here, the style here, you got your Mercedes call out, and then you got that great looking uh, dual exhaust. I show some of those things because a lot of times people don't recognize the effort that goes into making a car so stylish. And then we take a peek under here, and this is great. This is, uh, this is a beautifully restored, beautifully detailed trunk with original stickers, uh, painted the correct satin black paint it's supposed to have. It's got the spare tire and accoutrements. It's got the tool kit in here, right? This is just, uh, this is the way you want to buy a car because somebody is putting the effort into finishing up the little bit of detail stuff that goes on and then so that you don't have to. All right, so this is nice. The tonneau cover, I love that. The fact that you don't have to snap something on, uh, put some uh, clips in or whatever, everything's right here. The convertible top's all right with you. This also has uh, a hard top that comes with it. It's painted, it gives it a totally different look to the car. So the chocolate soft top that's on it adds a very elegant touch and then you put the hard top on it that's body colored and that uh, and that adds a sports car look to it and in the winter time it's really nice so as we get inside oh I meant to mention too this has a jump seat in the back this right here was uh, a pretty expensive option back in the day it does have a jump seat there's a place for a seat belt in there as well so maybe one with the dog back there maybe the kids back there there's more luggage space back here including the trunk and here as well so uh, that's kind of nice and then this I love because this is so Mercedes it's just solid man solid 50 years later it still closes like a champ anyway 140 mile an hour speedometer 70 uh 7, rpm tack right the original blaupunk sound system in here the clock that's in here these vents that are just pieces of art the way they rotate you can see just the effort 
look, you open the glove box and the light comes on. You say, oh, a tone, how come you get so excited about a glove box light? Well, you know why? Because this is a 50 year old light and it works, right? How many 50, 75, 100 year old houses uh, things don't work in them. This is a mechanical device driven on the road and somebody has obviously gone through the effort uh, to do all that. Here's the pouch, the original pouch for the convertible top latches to take them off. Still here, right? This right here, the original owner's manual. This isn't a reproduction. This is the real deal original owner's manual. This is the kind of car I'm trying to tell you you're getting here. This is not like a, oops, this is not like a cobbled together car or somebody put some spray wax on it. This is a history, a history, a local history and a family that's taken care of it for a really long time. Full gauges that are there, the warning lights that come on. I got the key on right now so you can see some of that stuff that's there, right? This is just a fabulous, fabulous car. Uh, the interior color is great. These special carpets that are here. This has really nice floor mats underneath this plastic we put down to protect those. And I think that at the end of the day, if you can drive around in a cool car like this while they're going up in value, what's not to like? All right, so we close up this video. I know I've, uh, I've rambled on a lot about the car, but it's a special, special car. And I, and I feel sometimes you don't get it in, the, in the, just the picture sentence or the write-up. You really need to see the condition of the car. It's a beautifully, beautifully restored and preserved car family history since new. And then you talk about all the modern stuff like four wheel disc brakes and four wheel fully independent suspension and, and fuel injection and all the cool gauges on the dash and all the beautiful little touches, the jewelry touches inside the car. It is a great classic car. Let me just tell you, man, man or woman, this is not, uh, this is not a car that's gender specific. It's a car that everybody can drive and everybody can enjoy. The overdrive automatic means that it cruises on the highway for for hours on end with very little effort. I don't know. I just get excited about it because they don't come along very often like this. It's a very, very special car. Anyway, call us 301 816 1000. We'll tell you how to get this 69, 1969 280 SL in your garage. Don't forget, if you would, share this uh, video with uh, some friends. And if you could give us a like, we like that too. It helps uh, uh, keep us out there. We're going to go for a test drive. We're going to go for a test drive. You're going to watch that video as well, I hope. And uh, lastly, if you uh, maybe you knew somebody who worked on the assembly line, or maybe you know who's bought one of these new, or maybe you rode around and one and got bit by a bug, I'd love to hear the stories about that as well. All right, thanks so much.